guess what time it is, y'all? It's time to do it again. So today, Savannah and I are going to be heading to Jefferson City, Missouri um, to do a ghost hunt at the Missouri State Penitentiary. Are you excited? Yeah, hang on. I need to make a call. What are you going to call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> but the Missouri State Penitentiary actually held the inmates until 2004. And then they transferred everybody over to the new prison that they built. Which wasn't haunted. Which wasn't haunted. He's so, I was reading some comments from people on a Facebook post who had actually been incarcerated there. And they didn't have anything good to say about it. Although it is prison. Well, yeah. But I, I think I read some too. And, and they were legit saying that some pretty freaky stuff happens there. They say it's the bloodiest 47 acres in America. So, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, probably the unlimited Diet Coke. <laughs> snacks and Diet Coke for the win. We were told there would be unlimited snacks. Uh, I'm, I think I'm looking forward to the gas chamber. Oh, yeah. There's, there's 40 people who were sentenced to death in the gas chamber, but only one woman. Only one woman. So, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see... What could, what could she have done? So what all do you think is going to happen to them? So I know that we're going to have a structured vigil. I don't really know what that means. Um, but I'm open to it. Like a Ouija board? Oh, that sounds terrifying. You think there will be crystals? <laughs> uh, like energy crystals? And essential oils. Probably not. I know that they're going to give us some time to go explore on our own. Um, they're going to put us in some group settings and then they're also going to give us ghost hunting equipment and teach us how to use it. I don't even really know what ghost hunting equipment is, but I'm excited that there's going to be a psychic medium. I am excited about a psychic medium too. Have you ever been to a psychic? <laughs> Actually. Have you? I have had multiple palm readings in New Orleans in the French Quarter, so you know it's legit. Oh. And also, I once got my spirit animal reading done at the Purr Cat Bay, where you go and visit the stray cats. Aw, that it's, sounds cute. Yeah, it's not in business anymore. I think, like, the closest thing to paranormal or psychics or anything like that is once I got my aura tuned. <laughs> yes, yes. I didn't know that's what was happening, but um, that was that was interesting. Have you ever had your chakra balanced? What's a chakra? I brought these for us. What are they? It's a chain for your mask. You held your mask on. Oh, hell yeah. Well, you don't want your mask to fall on the floor of the prison. Yeah, that'd be gross. Yeah, like, like soap. <laughs> don't drop the soap. <laughs> don't drop your mask. <laughs> really not sure. Thank you. I like yours as well. Oh. Where'd you get it? Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost a full moon, and as we're pulling up, like, all of the street lights are out, which is already kind of creepy. Like, it's not storming or anything. I don't know what is going on. It's already paranormal, Savannah. <laughs> so we just parked and a black cat ran across from us. <laughs> That's a good sign. He's just staring us down. So this is Gin Pop. We're in the women's ward now, and they're going to give us some pieces of equipment to use. We're going to use crystals and doubt rods and see if we can summon up some responses. Are you excited? Yeah. Show me what yes is. To Savannah. Is there a spirit here with us? <gasps> Did you die here? No. So Savannah and I are in the gas chamber now. It feels really heavy in here. Yeah, it does feel heavy. Good. We got some reaction, which was really cool. Yeah. Where did it touch you, Savannah? It, I felt like something touched me. Like kind of. Like if they were just like, like raising kind of a situation. Yeah. Okay. While you were sitting in the chair in the gas chamber? Yeah. It was really kind of 
Oh, that's spooky. I don't know, like an infirmary? So we're gonna check out death row now. So they gave us some ghost hunting equipment. I have a electromagnetic frequency meter. I have a motion detector. My flashlight went crazy. So we walked into cell block 19 and directly across from us is cell block 13. So let's turn our stuff on and see what we can find. Okay, so we have the motion detector set up just across from 13. And we have our electromagnetic frequency meter set up inside cell block 19. So some of the really interesting things are um, there's things right on the walls. There's also this hole. It looks like it has some stuff in it. But this says emotions, happy, relaxed, um, collected, calm, proud, courage. I think it's really interesting. I think we're going to move on and see what else we can find. So this is the gas chamber. Savannah felt something touch her leg earlier on it. There's actually a viewing room from the other side. There's some people in there. Let's go have a seat. You want to switch sides? So we're sitting in the gas chamber here with our little EMF meter to see if we get any readings. There's a... Um, there's a mirror up there so that the people in the viewing can actually see. That was me. That was me. That was me. <laughs> so that they can see um, your face. It's okay. You can be here with us. Is there anybody there? We have only positive intentions. Well, we were talking about how many people were put to death in here. There was 39 in one by lethal injection. And then our meter started going off. So we've switched out our equipment. I now have a temperature gun. And I have dousing rods. And she has dousing rods, which I called dow rods earlier. Same. I'm not a ghost hunter. Just pretending to be one. Fifty-six point one. Oh. There's fifty-four in here. Oh, this has some interesting art in it. Did you choose the decorations in this room? Oh my gosh. Is there anybody here with us? if we should go to the third floor. <sighs> so this is James Earl Ray's cell and he escaped and was a fugitive for a year whenever he um, assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. These are kind of creepy. I have lost Savannah and Jen Pop. What's up here? Mm -hmm. 
So I'm not gonna lie. I expected to be scared at some point, scream like a little girl, but it didn't happen. What about you? I did not even raise my voice. <laughs> no screams were to be had. I also expected more history of the place. Like, Ooh. why is it haunted? It was also the most eclectic group of people that we have run into in at least a year. You would think for the price point, it would eliminate some of that. 